Welcome back to what will hopefully be a happier, more pleasant video. I'm not going to be negative on the game. I'm not going to mock Moira like I was planning on doing. Nothing bad's going to happen to us. It's going to be just a nice stroll through the slaughterhouse. And we're going to read this. Nice things, right? Right? Or not? Instead, we're going to item hunt. There are two zombies in here, too. I don't know why they haven't showed up yet, because they should have already. I don't know if they're going to turn into exploding ones, either. They might. And stick around long enough to find out. Finally! I've only been waiting to kill you for how long now? A minute? A minute too long! Bitch. Making me waste valuable handgun ammo on you. Except I have plenty, so I'm okay. Okay, there is something there. Claire can't carry anything else, so Moira, Claire's purse, is going to have to carry it. And there's also a hidden item. Give me a second to find that. And turn that flashlight off. Okay, so both of those items ended up being pieces to secondary items that you can make. Unfortunately, I've already got stuff like that, and I don't have any empty bottles, which you need to make any of those items, so they're useless to me. I don't know why they give me cloth. I, I don't need a freaking cloth. Whatever it is that you make with that, I'm not going to make it, so... Just stop giving that to me, all right? Alright, I haven't seen the other zombie yet, so maybe we can get the drop on it? Zombie? It's kind of far over there. I can't tell if it's facing me or facing away. And it looks like he's moving towards me. Great! And I'm guessing he's going to come all the way over here because he did show up when I was in that previous room the first time I tried this. So let's go back here. <sighs> Hopefully I can do this. This is how I play Tenchu. So help me, Moira. What are you... We're, do you not know we're going stealth here? That means get the hell behind something. You're useless. Oh, or stand out in the open there so they can see you. Good job. Or then I stand out in the open so they can see me. Good job, me! Come on. Well, fortunately, this thing's blinder than I am. That could have been really bad. Actually, not really bad. I just I would have had to waste ammo and would have been out of stealth kill, which I really wanted the stealth kill. I know I've said it before. I really like the stealth aspect on this game. Okay, there's a red herb in here somewhere. Let me find that. Okay, here it is. And then when you combine that with a green herb, you get three green herbs. So two additional green herbs, which is pretty cool. That's one thing I liked about Revelations is that the green herb was just a full heal. I didn't like that you could only carry five of them, but still it's a butchery for killing livestock how many freaking filet mignons do you have to make to produce this kind of blood maybe the blood didn't come from filet mignons maybe some girl was just really on her uh, i'm not gonna finish that no bad me how dare i make an obvious joke you know yanos would be proud of this area i think Yano's from Soul Reaver 2 and Legacy of Kane Defiance. Cool character. Shh. Don't shush me, Claire. Come on, you know how this works. I'm the player, you're the character. I tell you what to do. Or were you shushing Moira? 
Because if you're shushing Moira, then I take back what I said. I, I'm completely okay with you shushing Moira. She deserves it. Miss thinks she's Dex Dexter's sister, which I forget her name because I haven't seen that show in ages. Yeah, they, these things are now regular enemies. This was a boss before, but not anymore. Oh god. Because it only used a bunch of my supplies before, but now we gotta find another one. And more. Oh, cool, there's fire there. Awesome. That hurt. Get up. Get up. I was about to say earlier, Moira, you could try doing something other than standing there. Dead? I mean, I'm not saying Moira should be trying to take this thing on with her crowbar. I'm not suggesting that at all, but just... Actually, she can recharge health, so she could play as human shield for me. She could do that. Did I break this? No? Fuck. Alright, let's continue on then. Yeah, she could be human shield for me. I mean, not all the time, and we can't have her get killed, but, you know, a little bit. <sighs> Instead, we'll let her be useful and use our crowbar to pry open that door. Like Silent Hill Homecoming. And I'm going to stand ready because I know something's going to come after me. Okay, she's doing her thing. Enemies. Dude, did she take both of them off? She did. Cool. Okay. We got a little partner puzzle here. This part I figured out easily enough. Wait. Have okay. one of your characters stay right there. And come in here. As you can see, there are blades. So you know what's going to happen when I grab this. However, I... Yeah, and then switch back to her and activate this. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. <laughs> Why am I making scared noises when I'm right past nothing? <sighs> I didn't realize I could duck under that. So yeah, that, that killed me a few times when I was trying to figure out how to actually get around the stupid things. But yeah, you just duck under that. Simple enough. There's apparently another way you can do it where you can both go in there and hoist Moira up and she can run around a catwalk area. And get another one of these lock boxes. Just like that, except for you don't get the expansion pack that we're getting there for Claire. It's very important you get that because now we can carry more items with her, which is nice. But yeah, there's apparently there's one up there, but I didn't get it. I didn't I didn't want to deal with trying to waste my time with that. I just wanted out of there. Apparently I can't break that either. Great. All right, what awaits us in here? That sounds pleasant. And more blood. Yay. So look around in this room. I walked this already and found a bunch of boxes you can break and a lot of ammo you can pick up, including one that had magnum ammo. So I also had to kind of try to figure out what to do here. So we're going to see how well I succeed at that now. So definitely search this area for items before solving this puzzle. Also in the last room we were in Wait. Okay. with all the blood. There are like two or three pools of blood. If you walk around in each of them, you will find at least one crate you can break and get ammo. And then there's also a lockbox, puzzle box thing in there, which I showed. So have Claire wait there, and then we're Stay gonna there, activate this. Roger. And then I've gotta rely on my vision to be able to tell if we're trying to get these hunks of meat over the grinder and then 
lower them in somehow. I think I know what I'm doing here, but maybe not. Yeah, you gotta stop. The, you gotta stop the little conveyor thing right when, the, at enough time that by the time this thing stops, it ends up over the thing, so you can shoot it down and okay, shoot it. No, that sucks. Oh, that worked. That's cool. You have to add more. I like blood. the grinding down there. Man, that lady is sick. Reminds me of a boss in another game, PS1 game. Bonus points if you can figure out which game I'm talking about. Where you essentially kill a boss in a giant meat meat grinder. I don't know if that's what it actually is, but it's basically like a meat grinder. And that's the only way to kill it. It's pretty awesome, actually. Kind of fucked up, too, but awesome. It wasn't like a guy. It was a monster, so it's not like you're killing a person in that. Alright, I don't know how many of these it takes. I assume I'm doing this right. I'm way too amused by that, too. Hello? I hear growls. Zombies? I haven't even solved the puzzle yet. Wouldn't they just be showing up when... Oh, there they are. Wouldn't they just be showing up after I solve the puzzle? Damn it, I'm not a chew toy! Lucky for me, Moira regenerates health. Which reduces the amount of babysitting of her I have to do. Dude, take a seat. Amongst the skill points you can get, I have upgraded Moira's crowbar strength as well. Is that it? I still hear noises. At least they're not attacking Claire. I mean, she's the one that her damage actually counts when she takes damage, so... It's good. Oh, crap. Really? I don't understand why when they explode, the, the screen explodes. Or it doesn't explode. It gets covered in gook. I guess it's supposed to symbolize that it's covering their eyes and that stuff so they can't see, but come on. It just looks silly. Pretty retarded, just like a lot of the enemies in this game. I don't know. Enemies with weak spots as just normal enemies, which y'all haven't seen yet. Enemies that explode. I don't know. Boss enemies that are suddenly just regular enemies. I said I was going to be positive too. Hey, I made it. I had to have made it a whole 10 minutes in this video at least before I started being negative. But yeah, I think Janos would be proud of this area. Lots of blood. Oh crap! Are you okay? <sighs> I'm quite annoyed with those enemies. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm not gonna worry about that. Instead, I'm gonna search for this item. You know what that means. Whenever the radio comes on, that means enemies are going to show up because that's what it does. Oh, shut up. Yeah, I'm trying. I figured with the sirens, that means got to get out of here.
I didn't really want to use that herb right there, but I don't want to get killed. And I don't know how long it'll take me to use an herb if I'm being mobbed by enemies. So, I figured I'd just be safe. I guess we just go back to that Prometheus statue now. There we go. Ah, oh, crap. Not good at a time when there are enemies swarming me. Camera, you could work with me. God damn it. Alright, where do I go? Oh, cool. Well, that's a dick move. Now where do I go? I'm gonna die! Yay! Cause I don't know where to go! Awesome! Awesome, this makes me very happy. Very. Now I'm wasting ammo, yay! Oh, dude, did he just take out his own guy? I didn't know they had friendly fire. That's cool. Dude, that's awesome. I may survive this yet. I say as I'm about to get nommed on. Come on, just fall. Oh, thank you. You listen to me. All right. I still don't know where to go, but hopefully it's hopefully this isn't like a situation where it's just infinite spawning enemies or I'm screwed. I'm already pretty screwed anyways because I don't know where we go, so this will be interesting. No, seriously, I, I, I really don't know where we go. I think I started to mention it earlier, he shot a fireball at me, when we, the first one of those that we saw in this video. And it actually had, that doesn't sound pleasant. And it actually like, left like a batch of fire on the ground for a little bit, which was pretty cool. I like it when games do stuff like that. In Grand Theft Auto, if you shoot a missile at a building, you don't see fire stay there for a while. At least in the old ones I'm used to playing. Maybe by the PS3 generation, maybe they do that. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Alright, let's leave. I'm tired of this place. I just want to go home. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, I never made it very far in Grand Theft Auto 4, which is the only PS3 generation Grand Theft Auto I played. I didn't really like that game. The character was a complete idiot. Alright, so we gotta go to that Prometheus statue, but I want to go back to that first building we went in in the last video first, because I want to use the workbench. I'm pretty oh, sure man. in yeah, 2 and Code Veronica, Claire didn't try a witty pun like that. That uh, was kind of dumb. Yeah, well, that's alright. Okay, I walked around in here already. There is an herb right in that corner. And over here is an improved handgun. So whenever we hit another workbench up, I'm going to have to get my parts from the old handgun and put them on this one. And also there's a hidden item in there on that wall that you're facing as soon as you walk in the door. Okay. Is that the door I'm supposed to go through or the door I already went through? Another ambush? 
We just got swarmed by a bunch of enemies. I don't know, but we probably don't want to be here. Pretty safe to assume we don't want to be here. Is this the way we came or a new way? Looks different. I'm probably missing all kinds of items too. Awesome, as soon as I can figure out where to go. Great. At least the fire doesn't seem to burn us. I mean, I'm sure it would if they walked into it, but I think the game actually prevents you from walking into it, which is nice. Guess who will be YouTubing this puzzle? Okay, so what the first thing you want to do is turn this one valve before hoisting her up there. I didn't realize that when you press the button to turn the valve, you need to actually like continuously press it until the thing actually stops. So you're going to get kind of this result here. Yeah, we need to press that a lot more than I was doing. So until it actually goes out. I didn't know that, but now, now we can proceed. Actually not that bad once you know what you're doing. I mean, you're just kind of going from one valve to the next for most of it. It just sucks for me because of my vision. And we're going to get a saving icon here in a second, which will be really nice. There it is. So at least that first part we don't have to do again. I wish it had waited for a couple more valves, though. I, I wish it had fit, waited until after... We got all the valves to give the save point. That way we just have one other thing to do. Which is the thing I expected to die on a lot. What? What? What do you want? Oh, look at that. You can't have this ass. You can't have this ass. Mr. Hammer Dude or whatever it is you are. I don't know what he swings at me, but you know. Come on, Moira. We don't have time for this. Thank you. Zombie thinking he's going to tap this ass. Fuck that. That ain't happening. Well, so as you can see, like this, the valve part of this isn't that bad or really that complex. It's just, you know, go turn valves. But the part that can suck is this part coming up here. We're going to have a set of four things that you can activate. And you have to activate the right one. Out of my way. You can't have this ass either. Where do I go? Where do I go? Oh. This way. Okay. And I was trying to... We need to hoist Moira up somewhere. And I was trying to do that and I accidentally activated one of these stupid things. And... That wouldn't have been so bad, except for I accidentally activated the wrong one, and got Claire killed. Now we hoist Moira up, and this was pure luck on my part. I will just say that I, I, I went with what I saw on a video. So what you're supposed to do, there's also a box I wish I had gotten, a puzzle box, which gives you a damage level 3 or 4 thing that I don't have. What you're supposed to, but I missed it. What you're supposed to do is see where the blades are to know which door to open, because you're supposed to open the door without blades. These all look the same to me. With my vision, I can't tell. I have no idea. I don't see blades at all. I just see a bunch of squiggles and a bunch of things that look like doors, you know, potential doors. So I don't know where these blades are, actually. So, yeah, 
and Claire was sounded like she was getting murdered while I was sitting there trying to figure that out, and time is running down. So, I did the only sensible thing and went with the choice that was in the video, which was the second from the left. So, at the far left one is number one, this would be number two. Just get out of here. Okay, that line by Moira made no sense. Claire, this is it. The waterway that goes to the tower. The Overseer's been watching us every step of the way. But if she thinks we died in that explosion... We gained the element of surprise. We're so close, Moira. I'm guessing it's not going to be that easy because she does have cameras everywhere and she does have these bracelets attached to us. So she can probably track us. Just a guess. 